Hi, I'm Kelly Taylor, and welcome to Cold Air Intake. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 Mazda 6 sedan. So the Mazda 6 has been around for three years in its current form. But for this year, they brought out the Kiro edition. So let's take a look at what's different. 2.5 liter dynamic pressure turbo engine, up to 350 pound-feet of torque and 250 horsepower. 19 inch black aluminum wheels. Polymetal gray paint finish, or you get a choice of a jet black paint finish. Garnet red leather seats with matching red stitching in the dash. Gloss black door mirrors. Six speed automatic transmission comes with sport mode and paddle shifters. Let's go for a ride. Okay, here we go. We'll get our seat belt on. Get our block heater off, start the engine. Tilt and telescoping steering wheel, lock that into place. Heated steering wheel on, heated seat on. Cause you know, it is New Year's Eve and it is cold out here. But we're at beautiful Birds Hill Provincial Park and we're ready to go for a ride. One of the things I really like about Mazda is it's a company that's run primarily by engineers but engineers who love to drive. And you can see that in all of the vehicles that they build. They all have exceptional handling, exceptional balance of power to weight ratio, because it's not all about speed. Sometimes a car that handles really quickly through corners is more impressive than a car that can go like snot off the line. The heated seats are standard. You also have the option of upgrading to a dual automatic climate, climate zone uh, controller. And the Kiro and Signature Editions come with cooled seats as well. Now, as I mentioned, the Kiro Edition and the Signature Edition, they both come with a 2.5 liter dynamic pressure turbo. Now, what that, what's really cool about that is they vary the amount of opening to the to the turbo based on how fast the engine's going. So when the engine is moving slowly, they constrict the opening so that it's a little bit like putting your finger over a garden hose. It increases the pressure. And that really reduces turbo lag. It does a really good job of reducing turbo lag. And then as the engine gets going faster, and now it doesn't need that pressure to, to get the pressure up, it opens that opening and runs normally. The big advantage to that is you get better fuel economy, plus you get power right off the line. Now, as I said, the car handles exceptionally well. It has McPherson strut front suspension and independent multi-link rear suspension. So independent four-wheel suspension, four-wheel disc brakes. It will go as quickly as it will stop, or it'll stop as quickly as it'll go, whichever you like. And the other thing I like about Mazda is they're not afraid to let you have a little bit of fun before the electronic nanny step in and shut it all down. So if you wag the tail out a little bit going around a corner when it's slippery, it'll let you do that for a little bit. When it figures you're getting to the point where, okay, there's some trouble coming up, it will step in. And again, that's because those engineers that love to drive know it's not much fun when there's an electronic nanny wagging its finger at you. So the Mazda 6 will start at about $27,000 for the base model. The Kiro edition, by the time you add in your freight and PDI, it's gonna set you back $40,000. Extra $2,000 will get you the signature edition. Another thing that's really cool that Mazda does is called G-Vectoring Control Plus. What this does is when you turn the steering wheel, it dumps just a little bit of torque out of the engine, so it shifts just a little bit of weight forward to allow the wheels to hook up a little bit better. So for the year 2020, 80% of the Canadian market went to light trucks and crossovers. This nothing quite compares to driving a car. So it is refreshing to see a company like Mazda putting so much engineering talent into developing a really 
well put together car. I'm Kelly Taylor from Cold Air Intake. Thanks for checking us out. Be sure to check out the button below that says subscribe and we'll see you again. Okay, we're gonna be taking a look at the 21, tw the 21, 21, yeah. Get 100 years ahead of myself.